You may have heard of these guys for making some of the craziest hammocks out there. But if you're looking for an inexpensive three season sleeping pad option, let's take a look at the Amok Fuel. Yeah. Welcome back ladies and gents. This is Maddie Outdoors. I am Maddie. We talk about hiking and backpacking. We talk about hammock camping here. I'm Canadian. I go to some wicked places in the Rockies. If that interests you, consider clicking on that subscribe button. Like I said, today we are talking sleeping pads and we are talking about the Amok Fuel LW. This thing is a fantastic, inexpensive sleeping pad option if you want a ridiculously comfortable night of sleep. Taking a look at the stuff sack. The stuff sack is pretty sweet. It's got everything on the front of it. So it gives you all of your, your weights, your R value, the long wide, all your measurements. It also tells you it comes with the included pump sack. An R value of three on this thing. So this thing is gonna get you down to about minus four Celsius or about the mid twenties in Fahrenheit. So three season rating for temperature. The weights on this thing, 850 grams, 30 ounces. That's the weights that are listed on the front here. I did weigh it myself at home on my scale. My weights are pretty close, pretty comparable. When I say that this thing is a fantastic, inexpensive option, coming in at 120 bucks for a long wide pad. I mean, just getting a long wide pad for that price is ridiculous. Getting it with the included pump sack is huge. Like there's companies out there like <coughs> Big Agnes, <coughs> Xped, that charge like 40 to 50 bucks extra for their pump sack. On top of it, their pads are like 160 to 170 bucks and that's in Canadian dollars. So to get all of that included with it for a three season pad, yeah, that's pretty wicked to me. So nice draw cord closure. Um, I will say like the stuff sack is oversized a little bit so it makes it getting in and out really easy which is nice. And before I even get into the pad, we're gonna go right into the stuff sack. I'm gonna flip it inside out and show you guys a wicked little feature that you don't see on a lot of other manufacturers, but it's ridiculously smart. Amok makes a little pocket in the bottom of the stuff sack to include your repair kit. And they give you an included repair kit with this thing as well. So, you know, I know companies like Thermarest not include repair kits and you know, you pay a couple bucks extra. So to get everything included with that, with that price. So when you unroll it, Inside of it, you've got your pump sack and the pad itself. The bottom of the pad is this dark gray. The top is this kind of lighter gray or white color. They're both a 75D poly. The top is like a, it's got like a rip stop to it. Uh, it's like a little bit of a softer texture, a little bit more comfortable to feel. In the top left hand corner of the pad, so on your left shoulder if you're laying on your back. You've got your valve, it's your two-way valve. So when you open that guy up, you've got a little rubber flapper in here. And kind of cool on the pad, it shows you how to operate the little rubber flapper. So it's your two-way valve. So if I was to blow into this right now, air will go in and not come out. And when you want to deflate it, you basically just put your finger inside and you peel that valve piece back. And that's how you get the air out of it. Like I have said, this comes with an included pump sack. The reason this comes with a pump sack is this pad has synthetic insulation inside of it. They don't want you blowing into it because your breath, obviously you've got moisture in your breath. That moisture fills up the pad. You get condensation in your pad all of a sudden. That's gonna cause mold issues. So you get this included pump sack. And honestly, this makes it so much easier and way faster to fill than trying to blow these things up. Like I've watched people try and blow these up, like the, the long tubular baffles on these things, like the big Agnes pads that are really thick. It takes people forever to blow these things up. So using the pump sack, pretty easy. You've got a little clip here. You uncover your valve and you basically just snap this into the valve. And you'll hear a little audible click. Amok actually has a suggested way to try and fill it. You basically take the bag, get it opened up and you just gently blow into it and roll it quickly to trap the air. And you just squeeze the air into the pad. And there we are, all filled up. Like I said, this thing is absolutely massive. Sitting on top of the fuel pad is my Thermarest Evolite. This is a standard ultralight backpackers mummy size sleeping pad. This just kind of gives you an idea of how absolutely massive this pad is. The long wide is absolutely huge. And a side-by-side -side thickness comparison. Long tubular baffles on this, very much like the Big Agnes and the Exped styles. 
Um, this pad was designed by Amok specifically to go with the drummer hammocks. There's a zipper in the bottom of the hammock and a sleeve and this slides inside the hammock and pads of this design and like I said the big Agnes and x fed styles with the long tubular baffles going this way support the drummer hammock the best. This thing is going to work on the ground just as well as it's going to work inside the hammock. So let's take a look at how this thing looks inside the MSR Hubba Hubba. This is with the two pads inside the MSR Hubba Hubba. Completely touch inside to side, but they do fit. They're not pushed on the outside walls at all, so they do just fit. Here's how she looks inside the MSR Hubba Hubba. As you can see, my feet are right down the very end of the pad, and I have plenty of room up above my head. This pad is absolutely massive. Uh, my biggest thing that I'm loving about this pad, going from my Thermarest pad to this, is how easy it is to adjust the support of the pad. If I want to let some air out, I just pull the cover back, just tap that little rubber flap, air's going out, cover that guy back up, awesome. Going on my stomach. Oh, insanely comfortable on my side. I mean, even going directly just onto my hip. I'm not hitting the ground at all. This thing is insanely comfortable. I can feel warmth coming up from underneath it, so it tells me the insulation in this thing works, which is awesome. Yeah, to me, this is an absolute no-brainer. No, it does not fit into the ultralight concept. It's about twice the weight of my Thermarest pad, but I'm not gonna lie, the next trip I take that I'm going to ground, this is going with me and the Thermarest is staying at home because this is so much more comfortable. I'm gonna sleep so much better on this than I was on my thinner Thermarest pad, which is only about two and a half inches thick. So the extra inch thickness and I just, I like the feel of the tubular baffles. I find it just, it cradles me more when I'm laying on it. Uh, if you look over a sleeping pad and you're looking to get a little bit more luxurious, comfortable sleep than one of your traditional ultralight mummy style sleeping pads, something a little bit more thicker, something a little bit wider. This may be something to look into to get the pump sack included, the repair kit, the two-way valve on this thing is awesome. The materials are bomb proof. I mean, the 75D materials, this thing is built to last. It's built to go in the drama hammock and literally be folded in half and like, sit up in a chair and be like manipulated and bent so like they build these things to last this thing is bomb proof it's gonna hold up so you know maybe something to look into no it is not ultra light you know the the 30 ounce weight tag on this thing may be an issue to some people but uh if you value a good night's sleep it may be worth it then when you're done with the pad you pop the cover back pull the little tab out all the air comes out and you're on the ground in seconds. And then it's just as simple as rolling this thing up, packing it away, putting her in the stuff sack, getting wand out of the way, and packing her up. So that's it guys. That is the Amok Fuel. If you guys are looking into a inexpensive, lightweight, three season sleeping pad option, you want something a little bit more cushy, the long wide, the extra thick pad, this may be something to look into. You get your pump sack, you get your repair kit, you get all that included on an insulated three season pad. To me, you can't go wrong. Anyways guys, as always I am Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching and me and Wanda will see you guys on the next one.